everybody and welcome to this episode of a run through this is uh population zero um it's not a roguelike uh, it was just a game i was i was relatively excited about and i checked it out and uh whew, it's it's rough um i i uh i'm gonna play some um video of of the game itself there there's not gonna be any sound because i was recording as i was doing it and it turns out like it's just not gonna it's just not great um so i wanted to sort of go over some things about it and then uh i would you know just so you can see what the game looks like and then uh uh at least hear what's happening i guess um yeah man it's uh it's disappointing to say the least i will say as a a preamble to all this it is in early access and uh, it did just come out yesterday so there is a bit of you know um, understanding that comes with the fact that that's what's happening but um, it, it really needed like another five to six months I think to bake before it was released to us uh, or a beta like an open beta that was like more widespread um, something the fact that it's being charged for at the moment is is a little insane um yeah it's just i i guess i'm trying to think of where to even really begin with it i guess first and foremost the developers also have have came out yesterday and started to say um sort of what their plans are and thank everybody for sticking with us that didn't refund and, and all that stuff i'll at full disclosure i did refund it um i would like to play it again if they give it another run um but as it sits i don't think that it's worth your time and money um here's why i guess um so it's it's billed as a uh mmo survival rpg uh with primary focus on pvp um uh, but the pvp itself doesn't unlock until so, so uh, I guess at the back up a little bit. So the game is, is based on a seven day cycle, right? So you play for seven f actual days at that point. And again, I, it hasn't been out long enough for me to test that or, or to see anything about it. They, I think maybe one of the bigger issues I have with it is that, that as much as the, um, as much info as there has been out, there hasn't really been a lot of detail about what the game is and what it does I, I just it just they don't explain it enough maybe because um, I was having trouble like seven days could be seven in-game days seven real life days whatever their time frame is like it could be anything it is in fact seven actual days which is you know good to know but it wasn't necessarily explicitly stated as seven I mean they said seven days that's it not you know real days real time none of the, the word real time i didn't see anywhere so that's you know a little weird to me um but so it's predicated on seven days at the seven day point you'll then transform into a a uh void creature is what they call it i don't know what that looks like i haven't seen it you also every time you die you get a little closer to that so i think you can have that happen before the seven day period um but as a result of that, at the end of the seven days, then I think your overall experience stuff is tallied, and then that goes into your overall account, and then that allows you to um, sort of progress further through the systems, I, I guess. Again, having not had the seven days to go through, I don't quite know. I will say that PvP was locked behind account level two, which I assume is easy to get to, but if you are playing well and you aren't dying and and then you like if it given the predicated on the idea that after seven days you then would uh or after you die you would get all that experience to level up your account it it almost encourages you to play like to to die a, a lot i guess or like to die at a point to where you think you may have unlocked the next echelon or tier of of account level which i is a bad design i think really i, I just don't i don't quite know what that 
like in theory it could be that could be neat but i don't think gating it on the seven day period or on your death is in a game like this like good <laughs> i guess for lack of a better word i don't think that's a way to handle it like if it was a roguelike it makes sense every time you die you get your progression whatever the, but those are quick you know 10 to 30 to 40 minute bursts of a play and then you get your overall and then you go right again this being gated behind that period is 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 really odd it like it doesn't make the flow of the game feel natural at all and and that's bef that this is even before you get into the game itself somewhat like you ne not necessarily to play it but like the the story for example that's under account level five so again not knowing how much i can't speak to how much experience you get when you when you completely die to turn into a void and then have your thing reset but within the seven day period like if you don't play enough like effectively if you say you're only to get a level per seven days that means you have five weeks almost before you would be able to play the story of the game and that is wild like i i don't know why you would do that uh, i mean i know the game is is tagged as an mmo and pvp is a a big part of it but in a game where you have the option to PvE, uh, you, you know, that neither of those should be locked behind that. Like, you should have the option to, maybe after the first level, I guess, but don't make that a, a weekly stop. Like, after that first level, then go, oh, you can do PvP now if you wanted, or you could do the story if you wanted, or you could just play on a PvE server and, you know, take the game however you want it. That would be okay if they did something like that. However, on top of that, you don't have the option to pick a server. You're randomly put on a server. And so, and that again, that probably changes once you are able to pick what type of game style you want to play. But again, five weeks to give you the option to play the story or the option to go to a server where you're just doing the story is crazy. Or if again, that is how that works per seven days. That's a full week before you can even PvP if that's the reason you want to be in this game. And that's outlandish. Like, again, I don't know for sure if that's exactly how that works, but as far as I can tell, that is how that system is, is implemented. In addition to that, and they, and they went on record, I will say, I read through what they put out today, and they did say they are adding, uh, they're adding uh, parties and stuff like that because as it sits there's no party system you can't group with your friends whatever if they join you on steam they don't even go to the same server that you're on let alone if they did you couldn't be in a party with them which negates completely the idea of a group or a, 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 a an mmo or a party or a reason to do things together there's no point to it and you you literally cannot do it as it sits now granted they have said that that is something that they're implementing and it should work now and whatever but out of the gate I mean, like, come on. That's that's something that you should have. Like, I, I just can't see a world where you where you don't have something like that. That's that's wild. Uh, yeah, it's it's. Like, I mean, fundamentally, that's like to me. That's a similar equivalent to like when Destiny Two launched on the PC, right? And you didn't have text chat, and you're like, okay, but why? Like, you. I mean, the launcher itself has the ability to send chat to your friend and stuff, but why would you not put chat in for the whole world? It doesn't make any sense not to have it, or the hub, or the server that you're on, whatever. Put that in. Like, we want, we need to be able to talk to each other if we're in a massively multiplayer thing. In addition to, like, every PC game or every MMO or any kind of game like that on the PC has had text chat. Like, it's just... It's not always great, but it is always there, at least in some implementation, uh, in some implementation, sorry. And that's, you need it. Like, you, you need to, you know, communicate. Like, voice chat's great, but not everyone wants to talk to each other out loud. And you don't really want to give everyone the ability to talk out loud on there, because some people really take advantage of it. it. Just go to any Call of Duty lobby, and you'll know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's... And again, this, this is what I'm talking about before we get into the game itself. This is just outwardly outside base level what is happening. So once you get into the game, uh, you'll find like... 
there are some server issues too and again that's something that they mentioned which uh, you to any day uh any online game on a launch day you have to at least expect some kind of server issue especially from a smaller studio sometimes they just don't have any idea or can't gauge I mean, there wasn't pre-order for the game either, so there wasn't really a way to, to see or gauge what the servers were, what the impact was going to have on the servers. Anyway, that I, I understand. That, I, you know, there's some level of, okay, they're obviously, they're a smaller company. This is, you know, the it, servers weren't expecting this many people, whatever, whatever. That's, that's, that's fine. <clears throat> but there was, you know, but it is a timing-based combat system so it it needs to be solid like if you're going if if you're going to have a if the only means of attack that you have is melee weapons at least for the first bit i i think i saw something with a gun at some point but gener face value it seems like it's primarily melee so it's like you need the timings to be right there was several times where it seemed like i was getting hit i couldn't tell from where there was plenty of times where i would dodge <clears throat> the creature's animation would go through and then I would get hit after the fact and I would I like to account all that to server stuff but I, you know I don't know I, because they're not you know they're not straight so it's it's hard to say what that actually boils down to what the issue is with that but as it sits it's it doesn't seem great it that too there's not you don't have abilities or anything like that in this game either so you're not you're only swinging or or dodging or there's a block but it the block seems pretty weak it didn't seem like it was it was doing too much granted i was blocking with like a you know a spear or something or and then an axe so it's you know i don't have a shield that kind of thing so it's not like i was you know had the equipment to really block a hit necessarily but you know it, it that's a, a part of it um you also can't rebind keys which is another just PC thing like you know it's something that everyone that's grown up or used a PC or play games on it for a long period of time like you just need you want that option like not everyone wants to play with the you know way you've set it out you know I like having a dodge on a left alt for me it seems uncomfortable uh, and you know I'd, I would have liked to have changed it and not having the option is also pretty buck wild um, it's because it's just Again, these are just fundamental things that anybody that playing games on, on a computer are, you know, accustomed to. And it's weird to not have them even a little bit. Like, it's just something that you are, yeah, it, it, I think everyone that would, ha if you're developing on it, I have to assume you have played games before and are aware, especially if you're making a PC only game, you would, I think, know that. Um, so that so there's that um also it's a survival game so you have a food and water meter correct that you are trying to mitigate to you know not die effectively um but they're um they're they it's hard to, i understand to get this part right this is a mechanic in a lot of survival games it's difficult to to get um, correct because you need it needs to your, your food and water needs to go down fast enough to where there's the urge to go hunt things and not to um, you know not to die you need to eat and drink whatever so it needs to go down fast enough to where there is that urgency that you need to do this but it needs to be slow enough that you're not only doing that and in this game it is pretty consistent that I was I felt like I was drinking maybe every 20 to 30 seconds it felt like and there were some things that would continually pull that down and it was just wild and and that would be fine but you don't have and all the water is toxic with the exception of a few clean water areas so you can put them in a flask but you couldn't I, w I wasn't able to I think I had un used 70 some odd talent points in this in the tech tree that you have to unlock different crafting recipes and purified water was nowhere in there that I could see from that amount of of points put in and so it's like well okay but if, if you're gonna have everything eradicated you need something to clean that water 
Otherwise, this is just an unnecessary other layer that you've added that we, you know, that the player doesn't need. And then with that as well, food is not as bad. However, to make a campfire to make this requires stone. Stone is, for some reason, insanely scarce in a completely rocky planet. I, there's maybe, I think I, got, I gathered like 15 to 20 and that's with like destroying two full boulders and then finding one or two on the ground. Like it very spread out. And that could be because there's a lot of players grabbing them, stuff like that. But even in the starter area that I, you get to before that, there was one other person and he was so far ahead of me that I couldn't imagine that was him that grabbed all this. Uh, and it, it's just, it's wild. It's, it's wild. The, the lack of resource that you have. In addition to that, so at one point I had fell down a, a hole, right? I had fallen through the ground and broke my ankle. That's fine. And, but every time I would jump, well, one, I could still sprint, which I thought was weird, but I could then, every time I jumped, I would lose 25 health, which is not a non-substantial amount of health in this game. Um, it's still not like a ton but it's it's enough to be bothersome and my my one my health wasn't regenerating on its own because of the irradiated water i think i don't it's not explicitly stated why you don't gain health over time i think you need to be fully well fed and well um hydrated for that to 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 kick into the health is my guess but i don't i couldn't tell ultimately what was you know determining whether that was happening or it wasn't so the item I think that I would I think that I would need because the item descriptions are very very generic. There is I think every tool there has the exact same tooltip that just says like I had a knife, right? Which I would assume is to skin animals or gather extra resources from those or something. It turns out it's used for plant life and other things, but all the description of the item says is a tool used for gathering important materials. That's it. And every one of them pickaxe, shovel, all this stuff say the exact same thing. So it's like, okay, well then what is the use of this? What is the resource? And it turns out you use it on plants, but those are plants that you can also pickaxe and they give you two different items, but you could also just hit it with a weapon. It'll still degrade the item. You won't get anything. So it's like, just get a little information is fine. Like I understand the idea of discovery and like, I don't want you to take that out of a game. Like it's nice to be able to discover certain things for the first time, you know, different uh, you know mechanics all that stuff is is great like that's exciting and that's sort of why you play some games like this but like we've i i think we've all played minecraft or at least some games similar like we have an idea of what the pickaxe is supposed to do or you know a knife or whatever but you in your world it doesn't hurt to just say exactly what that might be for it's you're not uncovering like a new mystery that like oh the knife works on a plant it's like okay but these are valuable things i need to know to continue to progress in this game because all you are doing in this game is grabbing shit like you're just picking up items and that's it and then that gets into like the inventory is like your bank is only nine slots so that's not anything you can start making bigger bags but you have a weight limit also so that factors into that and when you die, you lose a bunch of stuff. So you can't really keep anything. Like if you were to die a lot, I died, I think maybe twice the entire time I played this. But if you keep, um, you know, you can't have like a backlog of stuff to just pick up if you lose a thing to go get them again or, or, or whatever. And there's, there's most enemies. It really, you're able to fight maybe one or two at a time with the exception of these like little red worms. You could fight a group of those cause they just spit things and, whatever but you're you're almost always coming up with like multiple creatures and so it's like r really unnecessarily difficult i think for the just the moving around of this because again it's just that it's just kill this or 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 that's actually really it's not even that you I, I you didn't even have a quest to kill specific things i think the only major quest i could get to was find blood tissue on these things but those are from like void creatures which I, I i think happens when you kill people from pvp their void body leaves this behind there i found one in all of the five areas that i went to and if it is if those are things that drop from pvp 
Well, that can't, you can't have that as a starter quest because you can't even do PvP until the first week is over, potentially. Like, it, again, that system may be totally different, but from the way that it sits, you won't even be able to do that for a week. So it's like, what am I supposed to do in this game for a full week if I can't even do the starter quests, which is just to get those things? And uh, it's wild. Like, it, it, it's just, I, I don't, it, there's so many, I think the game is just trying to do too many things at once, and it's not really focusing on any of them, and so they're all just these scattered systems that don't really mesh well together, um, because there's also a building proponent to the game, but there's only certain small areas that you can build in, it seems like, and I'm not really sure why you would, um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know the overall need or, or want to, to do that. And um, it's just kind of a, it's a bummer, really. Because the, the, I will say the art direction and the art style is great. Like, they, and it runs well enough. Like, they, um, I, they did that. I, I say it runs well enough. I'm, I'm running on a pretty powerful system. It's, so, I don't know if, if a lesser machine if it would do better or, or if it would do just as well or much worse it, it's hard to say because there were some hiccups but again I would equate a lot of that to the server so I'm trying to give them the bit of a doubt on that portion of this um, but yeah uh, and and so you you have this world that you would want to explore but I went like and this is a mechanic I'm fine with this again but it's like you go to a certain point and it's like oh well you go to the desert that's too hot you can't go there unless you have these clothing and it's like alright but my area that I'm actually able to gather things in is so tiny like I don't like I'm having to go into these heats or hot or cold areas potentially killing myself further and 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 to get things to then just be in that area which is and and again if you're buying if you're having to use worse things to then be in that area you don't have enough storage to keep the things that you would use otherwise or when you're not in that area and that's a hassle and and what I was saying back to the point of the broken ankle which is why I started all this rant anyway so I broke my ankle and so it was some 35 points in to be able to make a bandage right but the bandage required 20 pieces of resin I think but only from sand resin so to again I'm at like maybe a fourth of my health I'm not able to recover health I don't have a healing item and I'm now having to trek into this desert where I will start to die the, the time that I'm in there which happens relatively quickly in addition to fighting creatures to then get I thought it was five of this thing. I was like, oh, five resin. I can run in, get that, get out. It happens to be 20, which that is the equivalent of like five or six of these nodes to then get that amount to make one bandage to then fix my foot. Or I can wait it out. But it's like if if you're, it's just, it's just, it's poor design. Like I, I fuck man. I like, I want to like the, the game. These are all types of games I really enjoy, but it's just... It was enough for me to rant about it, I guess. Maybe that's a, 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 at least a notion. Is like I felt compelled to go. What the fuck is this game? And what do you what are you guys doing? Because I I want to support them. I want this game to work. It's cool. Like the premise is cool. There is good ideas in here. Like I've always liked Rust, but I it's like too. I would love to just PVE in that game or build or explore that world. But I, you just get beat up by naked dudes for hours, and that's just not my deal. And um. And I and and I could get better at that game for sure. I could find people to play it with, I'm sure, and that would make that experience better too. But uh, I don't, and that's fine. And but that game, but again, that game doesn't have any of these other issues. Like the issues in that game are just solely down to like the aggression of other players. So you know, even even Fallout 76, like that's built as a survival game. But like the food and water is so mute, like it's just it's almost unnecessary. In that game, maybe it's like an, the other side of it, where it's like you really don't even need it. Like I, there's no need for it to be there, because you you find food all over the place, water everywhere. It's almost like it's just in there because food and water is in other Fallout games, and that's why they put it in. Um, but yeah, um, 
Yeah, and then and then the fast travel too. There's only you can only fast travel from one predetermined part to the other. They're called cocoons. So you can travel from one to the other one, I think. And no, no, no. It's not a fast travel. It's just a respawn. So if you die, you go to the cocoon, but you can only pick one cocoon. There's also not indicators on the map for this stuff, which you can make your, you can place your own indicator. So I'll say that, and the map is not terribly hard to read if you're on the surface of the map if you go below the map you're fucked there is no way there's like a cave i fell in i was in that thing for 35 minutes because it's walled in a certain way you can't just jump out of it like you can see the surface but you can't reach it there's like some walled section there and there's no reason to to be in it it's just it i you know i saw i tried to explore i saw a branch i got stuck in there which again could be exciting you go, oh the discovery thing but it's like no there's not really anything in here it's just there's one larger creature than there are other places and then there's 40 of the same enemy you've already seen and you know you just can't easily leave it you're just stuck in this area to fight your way out and again i get that survival games do stuff similar to this but it seems like an oversight it doesn't seem like it was purposely built for that reason it just seems like it was made and they didn't think of how you would maneuver in this area or how you would get out of it or any of that stuff um there's a there's also a perk system and that's fine uh, except you don't get the choice i don't think of finding or what perks they just kind of randomly come to you i don't know if there's like a thing you do that gives you that specific one but they're a rarity of the perks too so i found and you don't find them in a case or anything like they just pop up and you go oh you have this perk now but I, I can't tell what the gating process for is that it, or what the gating process is for that why that happens or, or why you get certain ones or don't get other ones it, I, it doesn't it's not clear about why that that happens um, I will say that the, the discovery system is neat like if first time you see an item you have to analyze it and then you can gather it and you, then you don't have you know you can do that and that's kind of neat um, I didn't really look to see if there was like a, a log that would you know give you more detailed description of that stuff but that w if that's not there that should be there too um, but if it is then you know that's I, I overlooked it or didn't look for it at all so so there's that um, yeah I don't know I wish him the best I, I think again the premise is neat enough but it just needs its systems worked out to be completely different um like it's just there's, there's just something there needs to be a point to this i guess and there need they, they need to not hold back the content of the game that is play style related behind a a timed gate and potentially an experience gate as well like if you want a pvp you know you want to do that if you want a pve you already know you want to do that so gating it behind this thing is it, it doesn't make any sense like i understand the idea of wanting to tutorialize people on the game and world before you get into that but that's also up to them brother like if they want to do it they're gonna do it if they don't they don't you can't it's just it's a strange thing to do and um yeah i i don't I don't know I want it to be good and I want them to keep working on it and I would argue that maybe in a year it, it would be a pretty solid game or if they you know really gun their asses off six months or so I think a lot of the kinks would maybe be worked out to make this a, if, if they stick with it I mean I don't know it's hard to say the reviews have been pretty terrible and so I don't know that they will. I assume they have some investor or something in it to where they want to keep doing it. No, I don't think any developer wants to purposely make a game that people don't want to play. So I would hope that they would stick with it. And maybe it'll be another, you know, No Man's Sky or Fallout or whatever. And, and it'll be the next uh, redemption story. But as it sits, I would definitely wait. <laughs> Um, and, and give it some time before you jump in. Um, hopefully that's been helpful guys. Uh, I know that was a long 30 minute rant, but yeah, it's just, I, it's strange. And, um, I wanted to kind of get that out there for you guys. So, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for sticking it out. Um, if you have some games you want me to play, suggest, leave it in the comments. Um, 
again population zero guys please stick with it i think you have something you just need to figure out what exactly it is um it's kind of you know honestly and i, I know i'm just wrapping it up it's kind of similar to how thieves see if thieves started except that game was funny and you had like a, an improv set to sort of just mess around with with little direction this is, just seems like you have very little if no direction and there's not um i don't know it's like sort of the equi closest thing i can equate it to is like the beginning stages of that um because i think even like uh fallout at, or 76 or, or even no man's sky and stuff like you had more to to do and more purpose at least i think a little bit um yeah so yeah yeah that's that guys thanks for watching um uh yeah that's it i don't have much else to say thanks guys. <laughs>